Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Z. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. This is gonna be a general read for Leos. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell as well because this is just one of the first reads that I'm doing for Leos for January 2022. So don't want you to miss out on the additional reads. I'm gonna be doing love readings too after I finish off the January um, readings. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So yeah, since this is very, very general for Leos, you guys, um, just keep that in mind while you're watching the read because it may not apply to everyone. Um, if you are interested in more accuracy, you can definitely book a personal read with me. So it's done in um, video format. So it's basically just a pre-recorded YouTube video that is sent to your email. You can use my link tree link in my description box below. Click on that link, click on book a read, and that is where you submit your info. You're letting me know that you want a reading, so I will respond back to you um, for that. So yeah, let's see what's going on here. And at any time, if you are receiving some type of insight or information from the read, then make sure you... Um, go ahead and like the video like give it a thumbs up because it's sending out gratitude and of course when you sit out gratitude and love appreciation it comes back to you okay so yeah let's see what shows up here what messages do you have for leos for january 2022 what do they need to know what messages do you have for leos for january 2022 what do they need to know what guidance can I give them at this time? What messages does Leo need to hear? So we have this card here. It says friends know when friends need a social break and a place to crash. For some of you guys, you could be in a space, right? Maybe you have like close friends or like a social group or something here. It feel like somebody is like close to someone. It just it could be just like um like some type of associate if you don't have friends. But this card right here says the only person I need to prove anything to is myself. And so far that person is impressed. Now let's focus on dinner. So yeah, it looks like somebody's like a loner, y'all. Cause the way it's showing up here, this card, there's like a figure. It's like a person. It looked like that could be Yulio, like floating around by yourself but um yeah for some of you guys you could be it's like maybe you um spend some time by yourself in regards to like being a social or maybe your friends um grew distant or something what other messages do you have for leo let's see what else shows up what other messages do you have for leos thank you oh this car is so cool y'all <laughs> This is my first time seeing this one, but look, it says focus on magnifying your, my own strengths, like staying in balance. But it's a grandma doing like some yoga or something. I don't know what she doing, but it's like an older woman. She It's like a grandma. But yeah, for some of you guys, it's like maybe you've been staying by yourself. That's what it looks like here. Like you've been um trying to stay balanced here in regards to... <sighs> like you gaining your strength just by being alone that's what it seems like here it's like maybe you took on some new hobbies or something too it looked like somebody learned how to be by themselves or something and it does look like too you could have been working on your confidence as well um letting go any type of like fears and, and stuff as well i'm gonna show you guys this card but it says my confidence comes from within the fears i have of tomorrow are simply going away so is my protective suit. So yeah, for some of us, it's like you maybe you've been like very protective of yourself, your heart, your emotions. You could have went through some type of hurt here as well. And it's almost like you put on this protective shield. Um, it looks like a cactus, like he has on a cactus suit. And you know what happened when you touch a cactus, right? So yeah. Some of you guys could have like distanced yourself from people. Like you needed a break. Give me one more right here for Leo's, please. Give me one more here for Leo's. Thank you. Oh yeah, y'all riding your own wave, okay. So, some of y'all could have been around a very negative person, y'all. Um, but we got this card right here. It's like a slime, um, 
no, it's fine. A snail riding a wave, okay. So it says, a wave of slime washes away my anger and replaces it with a gooey, sticky love that leaves a trail. You are welcome. So yeah, it looks like here you guys got rid of some negative, now it could be like negative friends or like a negative social circle or just someone that you were like close to. It could have also been romantic for someone too, y'all. But you got rid of something, Leo, and it's like you're gaining your strength back because like whatever that was, that energy was, it could have hurt you as well so let's see what deck do i want to use we're gonna use this one today okay so let's see what's going on here with this first card tell me about this first card here for leos thank you so yeah we got the two of swords your intuition leo could have definitely been telling you here about some type like a friend situation y'all it looks like you could have needed to make a very tough decision here in regards to like a friendship or something or a relationship that's what it seems like and this could have also been something that was hidden as well it's like maybe you didn't quite see it tell me more about this first card here for leo's So we got judgment that's showing up here as well. So yeah, it looks like here, Leo, you made a very, um, it seems like a very big and tough decision in regards to staying in solitude. Because look, you guys are showing up here as a hermit. And you know that card that had showed was like a figure floating. But yeah, I just felt the, the hermit card with that energy here. So yeah, let's see. So it looks like for some people, you could have already made this decision. Or something going, like your intuition or your dreams could be telling you about some people that's close to you guys. Um, it looks like here you're going to be kind of put in a spot. It's like somebody um, got put here to make a really tough decision. Like it looked like something happened to where you, you could have been like, oh man, I got to cut this person off. Something happened here. They could just have bad energy as well, y'all, honestly. Cause I'm not really sure the whole situation, but yeah. Tell me about the second card for Leo. Yeah, Ten of Swords. And look, we got the Four of Swords that showed up here too. So yeah, it looks like you guys could have definitely went through some type of painful ending. But I feel like too, it's like, I feel like the Swords right here is like a representation of like the people. And I never got that before. Cause like the Swords is thoughts, but I just feel like some people that you had, they could have definitely betrayed you or just stabbed you in the back as well. And you really, really needed to heal from that. It's like this person right here, um, they need to get their strength back. It's like, yeah, they still alive. They, she's still texting on her phone or whatever she's doing. But you got to get back up. Like, you got to get your strength back here. And it looks like, too, you guys went, yeah. You guys have been having dreams or something about some people um, in your life. It's like... Because with this card right here, the um, the moon card, they have on masks. And it's like they're looking, I feel like this is a Leo, y'all. This is crazy. And it's like they're looking up at you. But it's like um, with the moon card, it's like something that's hidden. But it's like, it seems like dark energy or like bad energy. That's what it looks like. That's kind of, okay. Give me another card here for the second card. For Leo. So we got the queen of pentacles that fell out here. So someone could be connected here to a earth sign, like a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. It's definitely the feminine energy showing up here. Some of you guys could have had an ending with a earth sign um, that's showing up here. I'm going to get one more card. Tell me more about the second card here for Leos. Thank you. Eight of pentacles. There was some type of conflict here and... But it looks like somebody wanted to work to like fix something with this eight of pentacles. But it's showing where it's like a lot of drama. It's like a lot going on as far as like other people in your energy, Leo. So I really hope this resonates with you guys. But yeah, and look, I just moved this five of wands. Look who's sitting here, the king of wands. So yeah, it looks like this is you, Leo. And it looks like here too, you guys 
are it's almost like this is not your energy with this five of wands y'all but it's around you if that makes sense so definitely um and it looks like too it could be in regards oh okay so hold on y'all your need is to um Leo, it looks like you need to focus more so like on yourself and staying in balance surrounding this chaos and conflict, you guys, because of your work with this Eight of Pentacles. I just feel like maybe this um, other energies that's surrounding you, it was affecting your work. It's like maybe you couldn't really focus in, in order for you to like really get into balance and um, gain some type of strength, you guys. You had to um, be by yourself. That's what it looks like here because it looks like they're working alone. So let's see here. I feel something crawling on my leg, but let's see what shows up here. Tell me more about um, this card here, a wave of slime for Leos. Yeah, seven of wands. Somebody single, single though. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you guys, it's almost like somebody could be, um, it's almost like in a sense, someone's like, in their independence or something it's like you just want to be left alone but this seven of wands showing up here yeah you guys are blocking some people and look whatever this is y'all these people is so irrelevant like they're not even showing in the cards but it looks like you're blocking these people it's like people that are trying to come at you um i don't know i feel like these like somebody could be like using you too but you caught on to whatever this is y'all and you blocking it, but it's almost like you're washing away the slime, which is like these people that's down here. Um, but it's like bad vibes with some other energies surrounding you. Okay, somebody is single, single, and we got the Queen of Cups showing up here. Some of you guys could be connected here to a water sign. It's a fe the feminine energy showing up here. It could be like a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but somebody is single, single, and they independent too. So let's see. Tell me more about a wave of slime for Leo. Yeah, King of Swords, you cut some people off. Your intuition is definitely on point, y'all. So whoever you think about while, while watching this read, then it may be them. But yeah, King of Swords showing up here. And I feel like it's like a Leo. But somebody could be connected here to an air sign, like a Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. But no, you had to cut somebody off. So let's see what shows up here. Yeah, whatever your intuition is telling you, Leo, it's saying to go ahead and take action towards it, too. Let's see. I'm going to pull some additional cards here for you guys from my Daily Vibes Oracle deck real quick. What additional messages do you have for Leos? For this spread here. Thank you. So we got travel. So, yeah, look, we got Keep It Real that showed up here at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Whoever these people are that's around you, it's friends or like some type of social circle or it could be like romantic. They not keeping it like they're fake. It's like fake friends. But we got travel. So Leo, you're moving forward. Whoever this is for y'all, you don't already call on to these people. Okay. Like it, it literally shows where someone's like getting um clarity about people in their life or they about to um get rid of some things and start new or something that's what it looks like so yeah what other messages do you have for leos what other messages do you have for leos for this spread okay we got big change that showed up here yeah there's gonna be some big changes that showing up here but it does look like here it's like almost like for this change to happen, someone needs to make a decision. And I, I feel like it's about you heading into like a new direction, basically. So it's kind of like leaving a past behind. Um, whoever hurt you or, you know, whatever type of painful ending that you did have. Um, whoever, like whatever type of challenge you had to go through, y'all. It's just like forgive, move on, basically. But it looks like some things are definitely going to be changing for you. And it looks like you change, and that that's going back to the last read I did for Leo. It was like something about a butterfly. I can't remember y'all, but <laughs> it's like you change or you evolve here as a person, y'all. Cause like this grandma that's doing yoga here, like 
it's like you went from the ten of swords to doing this. Like you may have not even thought that you could get back up from what happened, but you did. So yeah. But it's like in order for you to get back to that place, like getting back into balance and actually um gaining your strength back as well, like you had to be alone. So yeah, let's see what's showing up here. What other messages do you have for Leo's? What additional messages do you have for Leo's, please? What else do you have for them? High vibes. So look, y'all. Yeah, somebody got some like very nasty people around them. It's like they're showing up as like slime, like yucky slime. But no, you're you're vibrating high. You are you're needing to like raise your vibration. Um here with this high vibes that's showing up here so yeah what other messages do you have for leo and also to these people are not on your level as well y'all because the way it's showing up here with the seven of wands it's like they're down here but you are up here you have the advantage over these people so just know that and don't back down it's like you need to um, stand your ground as well what other messages do you have for Leo's? Keep it real, yup. Came out. So it's like you're needing to be honest with yourself as well, but just keep it real. It's like check your circle, whoever's around you that's not keeping it real like they fake. You don't know. But yeah, it's like you're cutting them off. Give me one more here for Leo's. Give me one more for Leo's, please. Smudge, so yeah. Look, smudge, you need to like go ahead and break out the stage, but not, it's not like literally y'all, it's just like getting rid of the negative energy, like bad vibes, basically. Could be needs to stage the whole house though. <laughs> With smudge showing up here. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna just pull one more just to see what else shows up for y'all. Give me one more here for Leo's so I can go ahead and read. I just seen 17, 17. Let me see. Let's get one more. Give me one more here for Leo's, please. Angel number. So yeah, for some of y'all, you've been, um, you could have, you could definitely be like manifesting new things. So it's like, if you are manifesting some new things, y'all, it looks like the universe is definitely about to reveal some things that you may need to get rid of as well. It's like the universe is moving some people out of your life here. Things are being revealed as well. And we got the angel numbers that showed up here. It looks like you guys are seeing angel numbers. And I just seen 1717 too. That's crazy. You could be seeing that number. You could be needing to look that up, y'all. I'll try to look it up and put it into the comments. If I forget, let me know. But you can look it up too. Um, but yeah, you guys are seeing angel numbers, whatever these angel numbers are, they're kind of like giving you signs here in regards to things changing. And also to, um, it's like, if you ask for something, like you could ask your angels for something, it's just guidance at this time here. So yeah, this looks really, really good for you guys. I'm going to, um, end the read here. I hope that it resonated with you guys. If you did take some type of information or insight from the read, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe as well.